Bye, bye. And back to school shopping is imminent right now, but a lot of families in Utah have a tough time affording even the most basic back to school necessities. And that's where the Christian Center of Park City steps in to help. They're helping more than 500 kids get ready for fall. So Rob Harder and Jenny Maurer both here this morning to talk about it. Back to school basics. What is that program? Yeah, it's a program where we take 526 Park City local kids and we give them an opportunity to go shopping. We go to the Tanger Outlets, and uh, that's a place where they can pick out their own red Nikes, their own Gap jeans, and pick out whatever they want. Uh, then we have a bunch of people from the community that take the kids shopping with them. So we have volunteers that take the families, the aunts, the uncles, whoever comes with those children. And it just gives them an opportunity to start the year off with confidence and with uh, clothes that fit and shoes that don't have holes in them. So who are these children? I mean, how do they qualify for this? You know, it's really interesting. We work really close with the Park City School District, and people don't think Park City and low income often, right, together. But there are over a thousand kids right now in the Park City School District that qualify for free and reduced lunch. And so uh, we work with the school district, and they select the kids that most need this. And so that's the pool that we choose from these kids. And so 526 kids otherwise would not be able to go to these stores and buy these clothes. That's huge. So Jenny, what does it mean for these kids? I know you guys have done this before. What do you what do you see in these kids when they get this opportunity? Yeah, like Rob said, I mean, it's it's an opportunity for them to actually get clothes that fit them. Um, the Christian Center runs thrift stores, and so we have no problem using, you know, used clothes. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, we just think that, like, on that first day of school, as a, especially as a kid, I mean, these are kindergarten through 10th graders, just having that confidence to, like, fit in a little bit and not being distracted or like I don't look cool or I don't even have a backpack. I mean, there's a lot of things that um, we're hearing from teachers and from parents um, that kids just, they kind of need that extra confidence that first oh, day. Oh, I remember that first day of school, yeah, yeah. for sure. You you're know, already... freshman year, you're walking in there, I hope I have the right duds, you know. <laughs> so, so are these backpacks filled with something too? Yes. yes. So, um, so every kid, um, again, just from donations, so is completely donation based. Um, um, so we have a ton of backpacks. We just got some donated from Skull Candy, so thanks to them. Yep. Um, and then just we've been doing supply drives all summer. So our goal is to um, every kid will be able to pick out a backpack, um, maybe one or two spiral notebooks, some pens, pencils, just kind of whatever they need to. It's not going to last them maybe all school year, but it's at least enough to kind of get them started on that first. Yeah, school. start the school year off right. Now, uh, how can other how can people get involved? I know you do this, but you do things year round. So right. yep. how, what kind of help do you need? Yeah, a couple things. For this particular program, we're looking for volunteers and people to sponsor kids. So each child, we're asking for $100 per child to sponsor them. They can go online, ccfpc.org, and just do it right there. It makes it really easy. You can volunteer tomorrow. Uh, Friday morning, we start 715 at the Tanger Outlets. We'd love to have, uh, you know, ideally we'd love to have for every student we have a volunteer. And so it's very personal, it's very hands-on, and so we're still looking for volunteers. So you can show up 715, we'll have coffee, bagels, the whole deal just to keep you awake and uh, make right. sure you're ready to go. Shopping with coffee and doing a good deed at the same time, I love it. That's a good combination, isn't <laughs> and it? Sugar. And sugar. And sugar, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Sugar's good. Donuts and bagels <laughs> and stuff like that. Okay, so I also read that there's a hike for hunger going on also. That's right, time. yes. Yeah, tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, so September 10th, yeah, absolutely. Hike for Hunger. Uh, it's our uh, fifth annual, actually, Hike for Hunger. And uh, we're going to be at the Deer Valley area again. I mean, there's no better place in the fall so than beautiful. Deer Valley. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's really, as you said, we have a lot of programs. We have uh, two food pantries, Park City and Heber. Um, and because of that, we're trying to create an event that raises awareness about uh, food and hunger. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, Park City, there's people that are hungry. And so we try to create a, a fun event that talks about a very serious issue, which is hunger. So All that's right. what the hike You guys about. better get a lot of coffee going then. All right. You <laughs> a lot yes, of yes, stuff yeah, happening. Yep. <laughs> Thank you both for coming in. Good luck with the event tomorrow. Hope it's a huge success. That's really neat. Those kids, um, I know, will appreciate it yes. starting off the school year. Oh, right. for sure. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. Okay, so right now, I think we're going to go out to Big Buddha. Is that right? I'm looking around, seeing if anybody is... Because he's yeah. at the fair. He's at the Tour so. County Fair this morning. That